So I made a list yesterday. I mean, really the list was already there. I just kind of refined the list uh, over the past four years. I've just made a list of things I want to build. And I actually refined that yesterday. I have 62 items on this list. 62 items that I want to sit down put my brain towards and build. And that is only in the realm of programming. That's a lot. That's overwhelming. And I think it's a completely reasonable response to look at a list like that and just throw up your hands and go, you know what? Not doing any of it. No. <laughs> uh, 62, that's a lot. And as some of you may know, I like to write. I have a few ideas for some books I want to write. I think that'd be really fun too. That's going to add to that list. I also really enjoy being a dad. My kids are the best part of my day. So I really want to put time towards that. And you know, while I'm a dad, I would highly prefer my marriage to keep going forward smoothly, successfully. So let's add husband to the list. You know, good husband, preferably. But husband as default. Like, let's not lose that. Uh, so, 62 is kind of a uh, low ball as far as the things on the list. Sure, fair. Now, how do you not get overwhelmed with that? How do you look at a list of 62 things you want to do and not, I don't know, just put it on Netflix? Let's just watch TV and get drunk and hang out. I've been thinking about that a lot for the last 20 hours, ever since refining that list. And I think the best method to organize an order of operations, because not all 62 of those things are going to get programmed. Not every book in my head is going to get written. Uh, hey, look at that. Oven went off. We'll talk about that in a second. How to decide what it is you actually want to focus on. And I think you have to split it into needs and wants. So I need to go put that food in the oven because otherwise no one eats. And you know, eventually the house burns down if I don't turn off the oven. But that's a need, right? A need is um, probably gonna have to shower at some point in my life. It's a need. But uh, I want to sit in a hot tub and drink a margarita. Fair. Okay, so do you just organize the list into needs and wants? And then you just you just tackle the needs, right? Should be enough, you just dive right in and, you know, I, I need to clean the toilet every week. Otherwise it starts to get really nasty and no one really wants to use it because who sits on that thing? It's covered in who knows what. No, that's not how humans work. <laughs> just because you need to do something, doesn't mean you do it. That's, uh, that's pretty evident in many different walks of life, but that's outside the scope of this video. I think what you need to do, meh, need, I think what you have to do is you need to spend time with yourself in a, a state of mind that many would call boredom. You need to go on a long walk alone, quietly, and just God, I wish I had a better word for this. Feel. <laughs> you have to feel <laughs> yourself, your desires, your thought process. Really think about what is it that you're drawn towards? What is the thing that you think about? It crosses your mind and you become energized. You're excited. You're ready to dive in. It's just like that thing, yes. That's the thing I'm going to do. Whatever that thing is, you will find infinite energy for it. You will make infinite time. You, you will not hesitate to work on it. And ideas will just, just flow. Just flow from you as you sit down and work towards whatever that goal is. So that's, that's something I've been doing over the last... 20 hours, I, I was at work and I went to the bathroom 
And maybe I went to the bathroom two floors down instead of on that floor, just for a little extra walking time, just to, just to think about this kind of thing. And personally, that method works really well for me. Going on a walk alone, thinking through all this. It's not, see, even that isn't quite accurate. Even that doesn't really express uh, what's happening. You're not thinking about it. It's like you're, it's like you have a bowl and it's filled with some kind of goo, right? Maybe it's, maybe it's flour and water, you know, or jello or something. And you stick your hand into the bowl of goo, right? That's what I mean by feel the thing. Feel it. Feel your feelings. Feel your thought process. Feel the... Sit with yourself, figure out how your body's feeling, what, what emotions it brings up when you're thinking about certain topics. And whatever that thing is where your, your soul lights on fire, in a good way, <laughs> when you think of that thing, <laughs> when the bowl of goo is warm, when you stick your fingers in it, that is the thing that you should do. That is what you should move towards because it's just like, it creates excitement in you. And you're gonna need that excitement. When you sit down to do the thing, you're gonna, whoa. What, you're gonna need that excitement. Because there's gonna be some days when you only have a half hour to give and it'd be much, much better to go sit in that hot tub with the margarita and you can't focus to save your life, but I mean, the least you can do is sit down and add a few finishing touches to the day's work. So that's what I got for you today. Just sit with yourself or like me, go for a walk alone. Figure out what do you have to do to whittle down that list of 62 items <laughs> and then plow forward. Tackle the first one, which we'll talk about in the first video. The first video, the next video. It's been a long day. Thank you for your mercy. Good luck finding that thing you're going to focus on. Have a good weekend.